Uptown Swing Out 2023. Jazz at three. Let's go. <laughs> Jamin here. Make sure you subscribe below so you don't miss any of my content, guys. I'm excited to see this video today. I'm, I saw the thumbnail. I'm not sure if it's going to be a partner thing or a solo jazz routine. Either way, it should be dope. These dancers are incredibly talented and I can't wait to see it. But before I do that, don't forget to check out the benefits of becoming a Street Smart Swing member. You get access to the Lindy Hop Blueprint, which is my success system that helps dancers really understand the core principles that make Lindy Hop work fundamentally. Once you can grasp what master dancers understand, you will be able to grasp the principles of Lindy Hop at your current level, which will ultimately put you in the driver's seat to fix your own dancing without always having to need a teacher. Members of the Street Smart Swing community also receive personalized feedback on their social dancing. They will also receive 24 hour access to all classes posted each week. So check out the benefits in the description below. Give it up for Sky, Frida and Remy Jazz at three. energy from that video. I love these dancers for various reasons, but specifically for their drive to continue to get better. This is how it should be. The people who've been around the longest should be leading by example for their persistent drive to become better at dancing. Oftentimes people get to a position of influence and they just kind of coast instead of doing the very thing that got them in the position of influence in the first place. Now, of course, Entropy is impacting all of us and older dancers may not be able to make an artistic impact the same way they did when their bodies were younger. Not everybody can continue doing aerials up into their 80s. <laughs> I certainly hope they don't. I just feel the limitations of our mortality as dancers should spawn more creativity based on our commitment and drive to adapt no matter what conditions our bodies may be in compared to how they were when we depended on speed and agility. These three dancers continue to model the work ethic all dancers should. And I feel this performance embellishes 
this thought process even more so. Traveling instructors know it's very difficult to throw routines together because of just the traveling and the lack of time that you have. And they tend to use templates from other solo jazz routines. Clearly, this is a shim sham decorated in a way that's gaining audible responses from the audience. Now, of course, this audience might be all Lindy Hoppers who've been around for a long time, but I have to admit, even I was impressed with how Sky, Frida, and Remy subverted my own expectations. Even though I've seen the Shim Sham countless times and I kind of know when the breaks are gonna happen. I feel also that this routine is inadvertently more inspired from the Jazz Messengers solo jazz group more so than just a traditional Shim Sham. That group has been using three dancers as a, at a time creatively in a way that is truly innovative. I feel this routine is a little bit more rigid and tight in its execution compared to the Jazz Messenger's more fluid and relaxed approach. Still, altogether, I feel this routine is sublime, and I would rate it as one of the best versions of the <laughs> big event instructor shim sham inspired routine my favorite moment was the spot where the choreography was layered with uh sky and frida and eventually stopped with remy to only have them all three react at the very end of remy's set at the same time super cool moments like these just really show me how powerful authentic jazz can be in terms of its subtle ability to create excitement compared to more flamboyant uh, dance forms like hip hop. It really goes to say how important timing can be in solo jazz, regardless of how simple the movements appear in themselves. What did you all think about this one? Do you feel it's overrated or do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments section below. If I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my class online. Take care.